Why does NASA drench its rockets in a swimming pool's worth of water? It's not to fight fire, it's to fight sound. A rocket launch is louder than a jet engine, over 200 decibels can shatter metal and destroy electronics. NASA's answer to deafening noise isn't concrete or steel, it's a torrent of water, released just seconds before liftoff. The deluge floods the launch pad, totally drenching the rocket's base in what looks like a sudden waterfall. That water absorbs the blast of sound. Acoustic energy instantly vaporizes it, turning violent noise into harmless steam. Without water, shockwaves could tear metal apart. With it, those waves turn into puffs of protective steam. It's a brilliant shield, a simple element, defending against the rocket's furious power, where metal would fail, water prevails. The sound suppression water boils away, sapping destructive noise before it can reach the delicate rocket systems. How much water? About 450,000 gallons flood the pad, enough to fill an Olympic swimming pool, in less than a minute. This sound suppression system is one of NASA's most extensive launch investments, a massive, precisely engineered network of pipes and nozzles. The flood dampens violent ground vibrations, protecting the launch structure from cracks or catastrophic shaking during liftoff. Water also forms a thermal cushion, shielding the pad from blasts of heat hot enough to melt solid steel. Inside the rocket, millions of dollars in electronics ride safely, protected by nothing more than water and physics. As steam drifts away, the pad remains unscathed, ready to launch again, another day, thanks to this elegant defense. A silent guardian beneath the flames, a simple element, solving one of spaceflight's loudest problems. That's how we reach for the stars.